Hi everyone, welcome to the, the river here. As you can see, I've put a dry fly on. This is Dynamite Harry, Larkin Grey. Uh, as, you, as you see, the river is just a nice height, basically summer level. Um, and uh, while I was setting up, there's a couple of fish rows, one just straight across from where I am and one just below. So I'm just going to degrease my leader. And there's up again. There's, I don't know if you saw that there. Yeah, it's, there's up again. So it's, it's rising really well. When I first came down I never saw anything. So. Um, it's good. Another one further down, a couple. So hopefully we'll get a few fish in the dry fly today. I have seen one or two duns coming off. I've seen the yellow may. There's another wee dun coming off there. So there's, there is flies obviously hatching. That's why the fish are moving. It's up again. <clears throat> so we'll give a go. If I can get off this bit of weed, it's caught my, my leader. Let's see how we got on. Well, we how's I like to take my leader and wash it first. Even if you degrease it this time, it just wants to. It's fine. So let's see if we can catch this fish. Start quite short. Just look at the fly, see how it's sitting nice. The Larkin Grey is a, it's a local pattern. It's a dressing that I've known since I started fishing the river here. Gives a great impression, tied in different sizes of many flies. Oh, there's a fish there. I'm short. Better. Now we've got a plane coming over. Ryanair, as they say. We're actually close to the flight path of the Presswick Airport, so we do get the odd plane. There's another fish below us here. I don't think I'm actually right on that fish, I'll just... I'm fishing a tapered leader. It's 9 foot with a 7x tippet on it. Oh, there we go. It's just a wee fish. Rise off. There's just a bit left off there, that fish rose to my fly. I was actually looking at another fish that rose below me. Let's see if we can encourage it. It's a little bit noisy here with cars and such, but we'll soon move down. I'm actually going to fish down the river today instead of up. I've not fished below here this year, really. I fished the pool below here, but I've not fished. Uh, further down. Just never got the chance to just... And basically up the river, it's nice up the river as well. well I've got lots of river, part, well, lots of good areas I could fish. I'm actually looking to see what fly... There's a fish further down. Oh, there's that fish up. It's a foot further over. Uh, just let it drift by so you're not disturbing it. It's up again, jeez. I'm just going to let it naturally drop. I'm not going to force the fly down on it. Uh, 
Um, we don't seem to be wanting a lot in grey today. I mean, always we look for the type of flies to push further over. I think there'll be brown trout. You never know uh, until you actually obviously catch them. The wee fish I had on and off is a wee brown trout. Try a smaller fly, I think, because I don't see. I'm actually fishing, uh, I think it's an 18 I've got on. It's maybe drop a size, dull colour of the fly down a wee bit, just a wee bit bright. Straight away there. Completely missed that fish. That was very grayling like. So it was, it was kind of wee nip to the top. I never touched it so. Uh, I'm going to change. No, I'm not caught fly. Um, change to a grey, or a working grey, sorry, a grey duster. One man and his dogs. <laughs> the master. <laughs> That's you on the telly now. You won YouTube. There's one for the river. See if we can catch this wee. It's a nice wee fish just rising over here. I've changed the size of the fly. We'll see if we can. I just went down a size. I need them to come back up so I can get them right, fly right in his nose. Them. Sometimes you can be too quick. I think I, I just nicked it there. I think I just caught him and no more. Uh, sometimes you need to slow down. There's that fish there again. Let's see if we can get him to rise. Oh, missed him again. Not a good start, but anyway, at least we're rising them now. Two in a row, so spot on where he was. There we go. It's just a wee, just a wee brownie, just a small one. Sling him back. Nope, he's awake. I'm just going to show you this. This is my friend Richard. Uh, he does the shooting. So if you know someone that does the shooting, you, you can end up getting some nice feathers. This is obviously a blue jay. Uh, great feather to have in your fly tank kit. Great wings, the wings are absolutely brilliant for uh, dry fly, uh, sorry, wets and such. Use them in dry flies too. Uh, with the soft hackles, these, these hackles here are great. I love to use these hackles on wet flies. 
and obviously the blue jay. Can be used in salmon flies, trout flies, you name it. So nice and dry as well, ideal for my pocket. Okay, that was my first wee brownie. I'll twist there's one rose just below here, but you just don't know what size they are. There's one, it's just about here, it's fine, it's perfect. So changing to the smaller fly, a rose, a couple more. We are next to a road that can be quite noisy, but the fishing, the fishing's good. I don't mind it too much. Don't mind it at all, to be honest with you. It's just plenty of room below us where we can get. There's a wee quick cast, isn't it? I've done coming off. Always worth a cast up under the trees. And this one there. Just a, I'm short, so if you're short, just let it swing through. Don't lift off until you're by the where you saw the fish move. Just in the case there's another one as well. But you don't want to spook it, so Yeah, I'm a wee bit short. Oop. I put that stone there. Okay, well, a wee bit closer now, so we can try for that fish. Oh, geez, straight up he was. Never touched them. A lot of nice fish as well. There's a wee nip to the surface there. There we go, ah, he's off. That was a wee brown trout, just a small one. Try this, there's one just rose here. It's good to see fish moving. It has been quiet the last few times, there's not been many fish moving. We are coming back. Okay, well, 31st of uh, August, obviously, and uh, coming into September, so a lot of the flies we see the spring of the year start to come back. We're single digits through the night now, a wee bit, um, which is a bit cooler. Again, that triggers. There. There's a wee, it's behind this stone here. Just going to drop it in. Not too far down. Oh, I see the wee, I see the wee flies that took there. Because there's one just here. I think it's just, that's just a wee brown trout, but I'll try it. You never know. Try for this one, I missed. It was a good brown trout, I think. You can see the wee done in the water, the fly's the right size, I can. There's a fish there. Mm, I'm just coming out it. Cast in between. There's another one. I think it'll just be a fish, but I'll... Probably just a wee fish, but look at it. Oh, there's a wee brownie. Well, this bit of rosin. Mm. 
Well, I think we'll leave it there. Yeah. Let's try and follow it over here. I think that was my best fish there, that was a, a decent, that was the fish that below me here. So I'm just going to head in a wee bit. There's a couple rising below here. It's a good run here for the grayling, as well as the brownies, but it's a, a, quite a few grayling in this wee area. Small fish. Oh. Yeah, another wee fish there, I nicked it. There's a lot of small fish around, but she's good, like. Good to see. Gosh, just a wee one. That's what I'm saying. It's just small fish. Oh, wait. Really. Not really. Uh, just maybe. I'm not sure. I think maybe a wee grayling that was. And uh, there's another one. You can see the wee done on the water there. They're tiny. They're Jeez. I'm after I'm going to check and see how this hook is sitting. As you can see, I've came back up. Uh, not much happening down there. The more you get around, the more wind we get. It's just, it doesn't feel as bad here. It's obviously sheltered. Um, I don't know what to do. I go up the river. I just work away here for a wee while. There was a couple of trout rising when I was when I was here, so I may give them a cast before I decide. It was just a wee fish, but I'll give it a cast. Just give a wee quick cast, see what it's like. I've actually got two dries on, I've got the large one and the small one, just off the bind. Uh, it's a good method. I mean, I can change quick if I want to fish a small nymph or something off the bend. Just to see. Yeah, there's a fish over there. Yeah, I saw one earlier uh, when the first came on. I'll just wee fish. It's not worth casting too much. See how my fly is sitting. It's always good to get a, a good dry, a good cast, just to a good dry, and it's up again. Should we cover it? Mm. 
And follow it over. There we go. I think it's a wee brown trout. What is that? It's a wee grayling. Oh. I'll show you. It's a wee grayling. Probably a wee fish. As always, grayling. Oop. They're hard to handle sometimes. Turn them upside down sometimes, it relaxes them a wee bit. Not like the brown trout, you can handle them quite easy. It's quiet and a beautiful wee fish. Oop. This one says turn round, he'll shoot away. Anyway, there you go. Dry my fly, just a wee dynamite harry. Oh, that fish that was a nice fish there. Pull it over. That was a nice wee grayling, so what I'm going to do is gonna, I've just grazed my well, floating on the dry, there's another wee fish rising just off the bay, off the just above it, really. There's one further over at Stone. Um, it hasn't come back up since I tried my fly, but it was up two or three times before that. I'll try for this one first before I go. Oh, there's another one there. That's in between. Let me take that dry off. I've got the. Oh, there it's up again. That's a nice. My fish rising below me as well. I'm glad I came back up. I went down, and as I say, it was just the wind and the wind's blowing right around that bend. So, uh, that fish will further over. I'm just going to slowly work my way over. There's a fish rising below me here. I don't think it's a big fish, but it'll give it a cast as well. Oh, just a wee fish. Looks like a wee. I'm only up for an hour, so a wee quick cast. Um, this is only, well, I've got the monthly draw today. Uh, I've got to thank Richard for the feathers, uh, lovely feathers. We've had a couple of wee trout, a wee, wee fish. I'm just going to work my way down here. There's a couple of, I missed, obviously that one there. There's one over there, I see. I'm just going to come out and work up. So I'm not making so much splashing. I'll work my way down. We fished this the other day there, it's just having a, as I say, a wee hour on the river. Uh, before I Do the monthly draw, which I know a lot of people enjoy. It's, and it's a great way of 
but it helps, helps me a huge amount. If it wasn't for the want to draw when you have this camera and set up, uh, when you have all the things I've got, all the, the kind of people on YouTube. Uh, the drawers obviously allows me to. Instead of tying flies, selling flies all the time, I tying flies and then give them away in the draw. And uh, it's a great way of paying back. Just shows the way I come down and rises. I think it's just a wee fish, but we can always get it in the way back up. There's a few cars really you probably hear going by, but just the, off the bridge. Motorbikes, there's a wee fish over there. Oh. Ain't had too far. I say I'm only up for an hour or two just to pass the time. See if we can get a couple of trout. Oop. I've got the slippy boots on, I've got the comf comfortable boots on. But they're slippy. I notice I've lost some studs off my the boots. I've got the uncomfortable boots, I've got two pair, which I've had for a long time, and I've got these metal discs on them. They've got great grip, but oh god, they kill my feet. So they do. To be honest with you, when I'm slipping around here, I regret not bringing them. The big boulder in front of me here. Look at that. Really. There's a couple of nice trout rising here. I could see them from up, up the water a wee bit. I just need to take my time. I'm doing a bit of slutting around here. I'll walk down to them. There's one just slightly far over. My leader's just a wee touch too short. I guess I've added another tip bit of tippet on it. There you go. Oh. He's off. Look at the wee brown trout. Anyway. At least we're, we're hooking fish, we're seeing fish. It's good. That's better. Dry setting up nice. I think my leader's probably like another foot onto it. Just to be happy. When it gets too short from the way the fly kind of bounces back. Uh, I think I may I'm just going to soft it. No use talking about it. Fix it. Put an extra line, tip it on, an extra long, well not extra long, but uh, as I say, I think it was a foot or so short that I really like. Uh, that's better. It's the, mainly, it's the main reason it's a wee bit short is the my, the tapered leader I've got on. There's a good, it's a nine foot tapered leader, but it's more like a seven foot tapered leader now, I think. That's better. Jeez. Normally that's a quietish road, a uh, road, sorry. Um, it's busy the day for some reason. I think it may be, I know there's road works on one of the roads that are on the way up, so they may be. Cutting corners, or coming over the other way. There's two ways of coming into the village. There's a couple of trout, a couple of fish moving here. I'm just going to move down. That's, that's a nice little trout. 
Oh, yeah. It's a nice rise anyway, there's another one below there. Oops. Okay, I've changed down to, this is a size 20, just a wee blue-winged olive, this one. Uh, it's just a small dunge I've taken, so I'm just going to, there's a nice fish there. See if the smaller fly whoops. One in front of me here. There's one. I can see the dung going down. I mean, it is a a small fly, a small. Oh. Feels like a grayling. So change into the smaller fly. It's paid off. Oh, there's a way. There's a lot of traffic on this road today. There's a tractor. <laughs> I'll move down a wee bit and uh, oh, in These fish are on and off, on and off, on and off. So they are. There's just the eyes once or twice and then switch off. And then turn your back and they're back up. Ooh. Had a look at the fly there. It's just a wee one. One or two fish rising above us here, so I'll just work my way up. See, I'm only up for an hour or so, so we spend too long. There's a nice fish rose yellow one over there. Just I think I may just move out a wee bit. Try and cover it a bit better. There we go. 
Yeah, I mean, it's another grayling. Nice wee grayling, so they're just nipping to the surface. There's a lot of these wee fish around, which is a good sign, like. Nice and easy. There we are. Another wee fish. I'm seeing all these wee fish in here, they're all tiny wee fish that's rising, they could be anything really. Just gonna work my way up. I say I'm only up for an hour, and uh, yeah. so one or two. Yeah, I think the last time I was here I was I caught one or two nice fish under the tree. Under this tree here. It's good to get the cloud cover. Sun's away. So I've only fished an hour or two, it's uh, I've had one or two new fish, so I missed a few. Just gonna work my way up fishing under the trees here. I did see a couple rise earlier under under the trees. Oh, oh here we go. I got a nice trout under that, just a slightest wee take. It's a nice brownie. Again. It's a good bit in there. I think I'll pump him in the net. So we can at least see him. I'm going to shot my leader then. Again, a nice fish. Take this fly out, it's right in the side of the mouth. There we go. Hopefully, you can see this. It's lovely brownie. Just turn around. It wants to go on the wrong way. Oh. Anyway, that's better. Turned itself. So there we go. There's a lovely fish. Lovely markings. Good. Okay, the battery went flat in the, 
the camera. So anyway, we're back in. Uh, I'm going to cross over, I'm going to head back up. Um, there was a wee fish rising there when I was changing, but it's not come back up. It's, these boots are so slippy. I need to get more studs. I'm going to just try over under that tree there. A bit closer to the stone. And there. There's a wee fish took that. Took my wee fly. Try again. Yeah, that's something better. Just gonna try here. Oh, there's a fish there. Anyway folks, that's okay, all do is had a good enough couple of hours, a good couple of hours there. Uh, sun's right above us now when it comes out. It'll be good tonight here, it'll be probably worthwhile coming back up even. If they're certainly worth a go. Sounds like the farmer's working in the field. Anyway folks, the noisy river here. <laughs> uh, anyway, there we are folks. I enjoyed a couple of hours anyway. Got us out of the house. So I hope you enjoy the video.